These videos are created solely for educational purposes to help students prepare for the pen test post examination. All demonstrations and examples provided are intended to illustrate ethical and responsible cybersecurity practices. No content shown here is meant to encourage or facilitate unlawful hacking or any form of malicious activity. Viewers are expected to comply with all applicable laws and regulations when applying the concepts discussed. Obtain DNS records. During recon, you might perform DNS lookups, such as NSLOOKUP or DIG, to retrieve different record types, A, MX, NS, TXT, etc. Important. These records can reveal host names, mail servers, or subdomains, which may widen your attack surface. Analyze DNS results. Check if there are unexpected or misconfigured DNS entries, e.g., test servers or old IP addresses. Correlate found subdomains or IPs to possible internal or development systems that might be less secure. Crawling websites. Automated versus manual crawling tools like Durbuster, Burp Suite, or standard web crawlers systematically map out directories and pages on a site. Look for hidden paths, e.g., admin, test, or sensitive files, e.g., backup.zip. Review disclosed information. A website's robots.txt or sitemap, .xml often points to sensitive or private areas. Exposed version numbers of CMS platforms, WordPress, Joomla, etc., can lead to known exploits. Actionable insight. If you find outdated plugins or software, you can target known vulnerabilities. Hidden directories or parameterized links can reveal potential injection points. Key takeaway. Crawling reveals site structure and potential entry points for deeper testing. Capturing traffic. Using tools like Wireshark in a span or port mirroring environment allows you to see clear text protocols, HTTP, SMTP, FTP. Identify IP addresses, protocols, and potential credentials if they are sent in unencrypted form. Analyzing traffic patterns. Look for unusual ports or services that might signal non-standard communications or malware callbacks. Correlate traffic to specific hosts to see potential relationships or reliance on external domains. ARP traffic. Local network focus ARP is non-routable. Thus, ARP traffic analysis is typically done on the LAN. Tools like Nmap, PR, SN, or ARPing help you map IP to MAC addresses. Signs of ARP poisoning inspect ARP requests and replies for suspicious duplicate IP to MAC mappings or abrupt changes. Signs of a man-in-the-middle attack. If the pen test scope allows, you might test ARP spoofing to see if hosts are vulnerable to such attacks. Actionable insight. Knowing device MAC addresses can help with network segmentation checks. Identifying rogue devices by unknown MAC addresses can be crucial for threat detection. Key takeaway, ARP analysis helps confirm host identity on a LAN and detect potential spoofing attempts. NMAP scans port and service discovery. NMAP scanning reveals open, closed, or filtered ports. Analyze which services are running, e.g., SSH on port 22, HTTP on 80, etc., to gauge potential attack vectors. OS and version detection NMAP can attempt OS fingerprinting. Use O or SV options to see which operating system and service versions are in use. Cross-reference these versions with known exploits in vulnerability databases. Actionable insight. If a host runs an outdated Apache or OpenSSH, that might be a direct route for exploitation. If a firewall or IPS is blocking or filtering scans, note the filtered ports for more advanced techniques. Web logs. Common locations. Look at Apache or IIS logs, typically in var log apache2 access.log or c zynet pubs logs log files w3svc, respectively. Compare traffic times with suspicious events or scanning activity. Analyzing patterns. A barrage of 404 errors might indicate an attacker's forceful browsing or directory guessing attempts. Repeated requests with malicious payloads, e.g. SQL injection attempts, show you how attackers are testing the site. Actionable insight. You can identify the source IP addresses of suspicious activities, user agents, or the exact vector of attack attempts. Correlate with known vulnerabilities and see if attempts succeeded or were blocked. Key takeaway. Weblog review reveals the attack patterns, enumerations, and potential breach attempts.